Hi there, I'm Alec Belmore, and this is Pint Size History and Intrigue. Prior to 1914, there was a four-pound limit imposed on packages sent through the United States Postal Service. Then, everything changed with the introduction of the Parcel Service, and Americans were able to send larger things and, true to form, exploit the system. All sorts of wacky things began to show up in mailbags, and it wasn't long before someone tried to mail a human child. Under a year, in fact. In 1913, the Beagles of Glen Este, Ohio, shipped their 10-pound son to his grandmother's house a mile away, paying 15 cents for postage and opting for a $50 insurance policy. Similar stories followed, some of them traveling hundreds of miles, but it's important to note that these kids weren't shipped in boxes or envelopes. Child and male person were more like traveling companions in this year's hottest family comedy. The most famous mailbox baby was Mae Pierstorff, who traveled by mail car with stamps attached to her jacket and would become the inspiration for the children's book Mailing May. In 1914, the Postmaster General declared no more humans would be shipped, and this decision was probably a good one, but I'm glad we had this weird, reckless year of history.